Michelle at the Magpie Mama and today we're just having um, a quick chat about chore splitting. Now um, when I first kind of, like, this came up as a topic I was just like, oh, chore splitting, what's that? But I didn't even know what they meant and I think that's actually because myself and my husband were quite kind of relaxed about the house and the kind of upkeep of the house and the cleaning and tidying and all those kind of things and um, I think it's because we've got five children, you know, it's it, cleaning and tidying is not a priority, it's just, it's just something we do. You know, we don't go, oh yeah, you do this, you do that. It's just something that we both do and we both kind of go along. If there's a bit that's kind of messy that we don't like, we just kind of get on with it, that kind of thing. Um, but our, ch our youngest is still really little, so um, with the main kind of kitchen tidying stuff on an evening, what kind of happens is I'll probably make the tea um, and then later on my husband will just kind of clean up the kitchen so it's okay for us the next day. Uh, we're both really relaxed about it. Um, I think... It the thing about having five children is it's actually a really good excuse for being messy because I think it's actually me that's messy. You know, the children, they get stuff everywhere, but actually I could probably make all that mess by myself. So I have a really good excuse. So I'm sorry if you haven't got that much good excuse. Um, but it is, it is actually, it's quite a serious thing actually because um, from my um, work with kind of women on doing things online and kind of groups and stuff, I do find out that it is one of the things that causes one of the most arguments, you know, chore splitting, like getting the house tidy and the mess and stuff. And I think it's a, re it's a really sad thing because it's, you know, it's something you should both kind of be in together. So I was kind of thinking about this and I was thinking, oh, what kind of practical help can I offer? And I thought, well, I'll thought I'd give you a few little kind of suggestions. So rule one on chore splitting is if you don't like something the way it is, do it yourself. Now that's for either the mums, the dads, partners, you know, that's for all of you. And don't make it about power, make it about kind of love, love for yourself love for your family because um, I know there's lots of people that have diff really different expectations about kind of how things should be tidy wise and, and I think if you really want that house to be totally perfect then just think just blooming do it you know if that's what your expectation is you fulfill your expectation and don't make it about the other person don't make it about making them do it and you know, if it's bothering you just just do it if you haven't got time throw a sheet over it and move to a different room <laughs> and that's, that's just my that's just my backup plan um, and then rule two so if you have more energy that day you know do a little bit more because there's going to be other days where you've got no energy at all you know so on the days when you do have enough energy to kind of do it or, or a, bit of, a bit more get up and go then just go well actually do you know what I'm going to do a little bit more today and then you know it all kind of stashes up and you time bank you know you get your house a little bit tidier uh, rule three um, if it is causing so much stress in your family have a look at whether you can pay someone to do it can you pay a cleaner can you pay um, someone to just declutter a little bit because that's a really hard kind of thing to do um, if not in cash could you pay them in services you know trading your services for theirs or in stuff that type of thing so it's really worthwhile kind of having a look at you know it might be it might not be as expensive as you think or you might think actually it's something I do want to save for and it is important enough for me so I'm gonna you know do it and treat myself that way uh, and then rule number four kind of idea number four is remember it's not always going to be this way you know when you've got young children um, you know everyone's clawing for you clawing for your own bit of time your bit of space you know you want things a certain way and um, I think the best idea is just to kind of relax about it, you know, have people over still, uh, don't worry about your house in that kind of way. Um, my rule is as long as I can get a space on the table, a clean cup and a plate for biscuits then, you know, come on over. And I have quite a lot of people come round to my house um, and, and I like to do that and I like, to, I like it not to be kind of perfect. Because that way, you know, people see how other people really live. You know, you're not going to go to a show house and think, oh gosh, I'm never going to be able to find into my house. And go, oh, actually, you can go to Charlotte's. It's, it's not, it's not that tidy, but you know, it's okay. You get a friendly welcome anyway. And, and that's kind of how I like to run things at my house. Um, and but lastly, um, if you're really kind of desperate to try something new to kind of 
work out your chores, to get your house tidy. I've got a suggestion. This is a really brilliant website. I look at it every so often when I imagine me being all organised and an amazing housekeeper. I'm not ever going to be that. But, you know, I like to browse and pretend that I'm going to be sometime. So the website is www.flylady.net. And what she has, she has lots of little different techniques for kind of um, splitting your chores, kind of helping you kind of manage your house. And, and it's, it's really it's a really interesting website. It's, you know, it talks about doing hot spots and you get you can work out a little plan for cleaning on different things on certain days. And it's really interesting. So if you kind of if you are stuck with your chore splitting and that and keeping on top of your house, have a look at that and see what you think. And do let me know in the comments below because I'd be really interested to see how you've got on, if you found it useful at all. And if you haven't subscribed yet, just press the little red button and it'll just keep you updated of all the different things that I'm talking about. Okay, well thanks very much and I'll see you later. Bye!